welcome back. Thanks for joining us again. Today we are going to be making clothespin reindeer. We have two different versions. The first one has legs. So we're just going to take the clothespin right side up, draw a vertical line down, and color the bottom for his hooves. We have a brown pipe cleaner here. You're just going to take the whole thing and wrap it around a pencil so you can get that corkscrew shape. And as you pull it off, give it a little bit of separation upward, and this makes the antlers. And you just simply pinch them on. Okay, we've glued two mini googly eyes onto him. Next will be his Rudolph nose. In the center. So as he dries, you can give him a little character, a bow around his neck, a bow in his her antlers. It's just gonna tie that. So this can either become a magnet for your refrigerator or an ornament for your tree. So this one will be an, a magnet. It's just a sticky magnet we put on the back. Let me fix her bow here. So you just peel off the backing. I'm going to do two thin ones so it's sure to stick on the fridge. There you have it, a little reindeer clothespin. It even stands up. The next one we'll do upside down. So this one, you have one pipe cleaner cut in half, and then one of those halves you cut in half again. So to start with the antlers, you're gonna wrap a piece of pipe cleaner around the top and give it a twist. Remember, they don't have to be even. And then the next. And one more. So these gives you a different effect of antlers. We've got some bigger googly eyes for this guy. Right in the middle. Just glue them on. And then the nose for this guy goes at the bottom. Red, of course, for Rudolph. In this one, we're going to make an ornament for the tree. So you just take a piece of twine and glue it to the back. And there you have it, another Rudolph. Put this one on your tree and the other one on your mat, on your refrigerator. Let him, let him dry a little bit. And there you have it, some reindeer friends. <laughs> 